Hi everybody, happy new year. It is 2020 and boy what a start it's been. We, last week, my family and I, we had the stomach virus. The yearly stomach virus tear through our home, rip us to shreds. It was awful. Four of us got it in the same night. It's terrible. It's terrible. I'm not good at throwing up, okay? I'm just going to be honest, transparent, and vulnerable with you all right now. I'm terrible at throwing up. And it, it got me thinking, you know, there's a stereotype, uh, stereotype out there. I'm a big fan of stereotypes. For those of you who know me, um, you know, a lot of people hate stereotypes. I'm kind of a big fan of them. In a politically correct world, they're not uh, politically correct. Often stereotypes are stereotypes because they're stereotypically true. Am I right? Am I right? And that's fine. Sometimes it's not the case. Great. But that means you don't fit in the stereotype. I embrace my stereotype. Men are terrible at being sick. Can I get an amen? We really are. Men, embrace it, accept it, we're bad at it. When women get sick, they can't really be sick because they are just, I don't know, they're tough. They're a tougher breed, folks, when it comes to bouncing back from an illness. You know, for example, when they give birth to babies, two days later, they're like normal. If men gave birth to babies, it would be like a, a year long recovery. When I get sick, I literally start planning my funeral with my wife because I'm just, I'm like, of course it's time. It's my time. It's my time to go because I feel like I'm dying. So I'm like, babe, here's the will. The money is going to you, obviously. Um, and I'd like to sing when the roll is called up yonder multiple times throughout my funeral, all the verses. My wife, on the other hand, She's just not phased. She is not phased by illness. So I, I began thinking about why that, why is that? And I think I have a really good theory and I'm gonna propose it to you now. My theory is, okay, first of all, let's get this fact straight. Women live longer than men. Not all the time, again, another stereotype. Well, it's a statistic more than a stereotype. Women live longer than men. So here's my theory. When men get sick, they're actually dying. They actually are dying. Does that make sense? When we get sick and we recover, we actually never fully recover. Part of us died with that illness. Last week when I got the stomach flu, part of me died. My wife, on the other hand, no, fully recovers. They live longer. They don't, they don't let those things pull and suck from their life source. This is, this is I think this is <clears throat> worth considering. I think it's worth considering. And that's why I'm asking the women of the world for a little understanding, when you see your husband laying on a couch with a head cold and he actually acts like he's dying, it's because, yes, he's dying. Not the, not, not dead death, death, but he's in process and a little part of him is gone when the cold is gone, when the stomach flu is gone. Um, so mourn with him, mourn with him. You've lost a little bit of your spouse, a little bit of your husband uh, with each and every uh, runny nose he gets. Obviously this has no science behind it, nor is it verifiable in any sort of way yet. Uh, but when a study comes out about this, um, you'll know, you'll know. It started here. Anyhow, love to know what you think. Men, do you agree with me? Women, do you agree with me? Do you see it? Do you believe it? Okay, everyone, hope you have a great new year uh, full of blessings and, and lack of stomach flus. No, no vomiting in your household this year. That is my blessing unto you. All right, this is Aaron Fullman signing off for the first time here in 2020. <music>